well, the guild meeting has officially commenced. Um, Ale is not in voice chat, so I will um, do my best to type out. So you don't even have to talk. Just makes it easier for me to, to talk without typing. Um, welcome guys to the guild meeting. The first guild meeting. The first legit guild meeting of the year. Um, so we have on the agenda lots of cool stuff to talk about. Lots of little stuff I think. Um, but very important. Um, I have been posting... Uh, events on the calendar. Um, oh. Um, is it not letting you unmute yourself in Discord? Anyway, um, so I posted LFR with guildies tomorrow because I thought maybe we could try and get some social kind of interaction with each other instead of just all doing our own little thing. Um, my, my, uh, availability sucks. <laughs> yeah, I <know. laughs> yeah, I tried doing it a little bit later um, for tomorrow's stuff. And then we can also set the same thing up with Sunday. Um, and have the weekend kind of both days for like LFR kind of thing stuff or just random, you know, old school stuff. So like Monday we have Monday Madness just doing maybe like achieve runs with guildmates or um, transmog yeah, runs or something. Runs. Yeah, so it's just something to kind of get the guild going with some cooperative play kind of thing. Um and also the fact that the Nihilotha, um raid, you know, just came out and stuff, so um, maybe help people get geared enough so that they can try that out on LFR or something, I don't know. But just, whatever. Um, it's basically something that kind of shows people that something's happening kind of thing. Even if any of this stuff can happen whenever. Um... And then Wednesday, we have the Guild Lottery, so right now, I will post in the Guild Chat. So you, right. so you can buy a total of 2,000 gold worth of tickets. Um, the jackpot currently is 5k. And That's I believe the guild takes 5%. So, second place, I think, takes 40%. No, no, I think it's 20% of the jackpot. Okay. So, the jackpot gets 75%. Um, so, if you Wait, guys want that. Turn in my tickets? Oh, um, you can buy them from me. Or if you... Sure. Yes. I immediately just put it in the guild bank. Or you can put it in the guild bank. Okay, I'll put it in... Am I able to, like... How much is a ticket? Uh, 20 gold each. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Here. I got you, fam. Oh, uh, I was about to say my bell thing can save it. <laughs> So yeah, if you want to put it in there, and then, um, we also have the screenshot contest. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. We need more people to 
do the screenshot contest. Um, someone said, oh yeah, that sounds really interesting, but that um. they... Um, <laughs> So someone else was like, oh, you know, I'd, I'd love to, but I'm not very good at screenshots and stuff like that. So I know, yeah, so, um, if you guys could help spread the news about that, the more people we have involved in that, and the more successful it is, uh, the more I can increase the um, winnings for future stuff like raffles and everything like that. Question, can I take a comp screenshot? Like, I, I crop my screenshot, it's not like the entire oh, screen. Uh, mm. Like, how cropped? I'll send it. Okay. Because the point of a screenshot is that, like... It's a whole it screen. Make, it, generally, it, it looks kind of bad, because it's a screenshot, but that's kind of like the challenge, you're, you're trying to make the screenshot look good. I guess that's a fair point. I can't find the screenshot channel. <laughs> It's under, it's straight above roleplay, roleplay, um... Yeah, there are a lot of channels. <laughs> roleplay, there's two. Go all the way to the top, and... In character. OOC, it's like the last one above it. Oh, 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 okay, I had the category. There you go. <laughs> um... It can be in either first person... Or third person. Stonks. Um, I think, so I think as large as possible, like, for the image, okay. like, try to do it, like, as if it were a wallpaper kind of thing. Yeah, sure, I can do that. Yeah, go for it. Um, you can have up to two submissions. Can that, one of my submissions be no? <laughs> <laughs> Can I nullify that last one? Oh, yeah. yeah, no, that doesn't count. Yeah. Yeah. How are we gonna okay. track those? Is it... Um. So if you're submitting for the contest, post your screenshot with some indicator that it's for the contest. Accepted submissions, those that have officially entered, will be reached, reacted by me with the voting reaction. Each person may vote on up to two screenshots, and then I'll do the the dancing parrot. Um, as the voting icon. And then the voting ends fri Friday, January 29th. Next, um, I wanted to encourage you guys recruiting. Um, we got a couple of new guildies this week. Um, uh, Two of them couldn't make it um, because of just, you know, things that came up. Um, but they told me beforehand saying, hey, I wish I could be there, but I got, you know, this other thing that I got to do outside of WoW and stuff. So um, for the uh, kind of availability of um, when people are available, Geld, you've been telling me over and over um, that Saturday is definitely not a good day for you in the afternoons. <laughs> um, which makes sense. I actually have stuff that is due for school on Saturdays and Sundays, so the weekends shouldn't be good for me. <laughs> um, so. Okay. Then, yeah, so I'll try and... no idea what my schedule looks like. That's kind of why I haven't responded to the schedule times, because I have no idea what it's like right now. Mm -hmm. Kind of hectic, and I've got a bunch of doctor's appointments coming up as well. Right. So I've just been on sporadically. Most of the weekends are free, but that's kind of where it is. Gotcha. Well, um, if you ever see something that you want to attend, say, for instance, you want to do... LFR with guildies, but you want to do it on a different day or something, I can set it up on that day, or if you want to do anything specific, maybe you want to do um, achievement runs through some legion raid or something like that on normal or whatever, then I can 
I can set up the event. Just let me know to set it up. Um, okay. And then by February or March, everything should be cooling off, and I'll be able to actually know my time frame. Otherwise, I'm just living life by the day. Alrighty. Tomorrow I could not be on at all and be doing. <laughs> <laughs> so Deathy's going to um, join the guild meeting. Um, Deathy, one of our newer guild meter er, guild members. Yes. Oh, get that guy out of here. No. <laughs> Deathy is a gnome. Um, so, any questions on any of that so far? No. Can you take this screenshot? No. Um, what else was there? Let's see, good meeting. Yes, future RP events. Uh, I capitalized S, so future RP events. Um, officers and I have been discussing, um, what I asked, like, two weeks ago in the announcements, um, tab. What kind of outside force would you rather have to bring to guild, the guild together? Basically, a, a new enemy. Um, and the collective Tro's rival gang, guild, organization, or NPC group seeking to destroy our own. So we are working on the back end of that, trying to make sure that um, we are basically essentially uh, creating a campaign um, plot. Um, and then we will start organizing the events. So we should have our first events, first event announced at the next guild meeting. Um, as for the next guild meeting, uh, whichever day of this next week you, works best for you guys, if you guys figure out, I'm going to automatically post it for next Friday at 4 p.m. Uh, that should be fine. Um, this time works perfectly for me, so I keep forgetting that I don't have auto depression. Oh yeah, do you want to go see the... Okay, I should work more on his TRP though. I do have the character where he did the evil character. Right, do you want me to get on him? Um, you don't have to right now. Okay. I mean, it's not like it's that difficult to get on him. <laughs> <laughs> More evil than killers. He's so evil, he steals from the poor. Say it again. He steals from the poor. <laughs> move faster, move faster, move faster. <laughs> um, those were the main things that I wanted to talk about. If, um, how is the uh, the gang stuff coming along for your end, Geld? You were mentioning uh, it, but. Cool beans. You have some good chance, but like, are we pretty for, for gangs? Are you able to kind of have like different types of people, like trader, informant, in combat, or is it all just the same? Uh, we were talking about that a couple of months ago, right? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were. And then... Um, I don't remember what was decided. I, th- I think Nick said she's gonna take it to the library. Yeah, so I think that allowing different, um, members within the faction will be fine. So, like, if you want to have a trading person or, you know, a spy or whatever in your group, that's fine. Um, but I would still like the gangs themselves to be more focused towards a specific faction. Um, or at least on paper what faction they want to get the rewards from, basically. Um, yes. So it depends, it's more on a member's perspective. So the events, so say for instance, there's a gang event. Um, and if I'm hosting it, for example, then I will be giving out specific kinds of resources for that, um, gang that depending on their, um, their orientation. Yeah, there's actually, yeah, so I actually have, okay, okay, so I have an item, um, for whatever reason, I, I, yeah, um, there's an item called faction resources that I have, and it, Depending on your guild rank, it actually goes to that kind of fact. So, oh, okay. trading, resources, stuff like that. So, now that you mention it, that would be probably easier for me to just hand out faction resources. And then, when you quote-unquote open the resources, they will be more specific to your individual thing. Um, and I think, yeah, if, if we do it that way, then if gangs, say for instance... Uh, I don't know, whatever reward is geared towards information, maybe you guys, maybe the gang wants to purchase better contracts or something, so they need information resources, then they can pay with information resources. So, like, if someone needs, like, a new bounty board, for example, which would require both combat, you know, maybe, like, two combat resources, two trading resources, and like five information resources. So then you guys could earn that way, earn them individually, but also kind of spend different kinds of things. And then you can trade resources with other gangs or whatever too. Um, so I feel like if, if you guys are okay with that system, then that's totally fine with me. And then we can just work the resources like that. Yeah, sure. Um, I think coming up with good, um, un- not OP uh, rewards is definitely something that I need help with ideas for. Um, so if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Um, what do you mean by that, non-OP reward? Something that um, makes sense for the gangs but it doesn't make it so that if you're not in a game it's obsolete to oh, I see, I see. like oh, if you're not kits. in a game then placing kits no placing kits do you want me to just like create a, like a spit all of a list and set officer business go for it yeah you Maybe could even because the rewards have to be specific Well, so if you, if, what we can do is, if we're doing it with the resource system, then, um, we can, um, I have to remember that I have to type also, um, the, say for instance, if we want to increase, if gang members want to increase their health, 
then they need to acquire certain amounts of resources from every type of faction. Or so, wait, so the way you upgrade your health is by getting faction wounds. Yeah, well, or... hypothetically, but right now we have it set to where if you join a gang, your your health increases by two, and then you know if you wanted to improve on it from there, then you'd have to pay resources as a gang kind of thing. Okay. But if you're not in the gang, you can't upgrade your health. Um, I think that for, for that, yeah, you'd have to be in a gang in order to do that. Just because it promotes cooperation and it makes gangs more, you know, exclusive, I guess. Um, but doesn't make them obsolete in the sense of, doesn't, you know, when you join a gang, your health increases by five. Um, yeah. Just something that kind of promotes it, but doesn't make it completely mean I guess um, but any ideas so any bonuses that you guys can think of maybe better rewards generally for you know things or um, whatever you can think of <laughs> so if you want to post it in the gangs channel um, if you can post in the gangs channel go for it Yes, in the above the in character roleplay. No, I don't have perms. No, he's not in disc. He's uh, yeah, he's not in Discord. Uh, he's not a gamer. <laughs> Oh, the Largus system. I forgot that I wanted to talk about that. The Largus system? The Largus. The Large. Um, one, I wanted to rename it from Largus to Notoriety. Uh, because I like Largus. You, you like you like Largas? Largas. <laughs> Trading booty pics. <laughs> um. Well, I can also put a poll up in announcements. See if people would rather have the raw kind of guild activity currency be um, Largas or. Uh, notoriety. Um, and since the it's the official kickstart of the year, um, I was going to start everyone who attended this guild meeting with 50 for attending it instead of 20. Um, and then uh, I will figure out when I will be doing paydays. I kind of want to do them by uh, every week when we do the guild meeting, so I don't have a backlog of rewards to hand out. Um, at the same time, we don't really do a lot. We don't really do enough to really warrant um, giving out rewards every week. Um, so I think maybe like bi-weekly might be okay. Um, 
If not, I can continue to do it just by every month. I don't even know if Deathy's here. It might be AFK. He's just he existing. No, I think it's spell food party chat. Um, and then the biggest thing that I wanted to enunciate for today's guild meeting was uh, recruitment. Uh, if you guys want uh, copy pastas for recruitment messages for, you know, looking for a group or trade chat, um, I have those. I have like 15 different variations of them. Um, you guys all have access to recruit people. Uh, if for whatever reason you find someone who is interested in the guild but you don't really feel like your knowledge of the guild is apt enough to invite them or give them good information, you can always send them to me. Um, I check, you know, I log in every day so I check my mail constantly. Um, you can always, you know, just have them whisper me or whatever. Um, Good and done. Yeah, because as much as I act like I'm annoyed that people refer other people to me, looking at Curtis, um, I am happy to do it. So, um, recruiting helps me because despite, you know, days of super active members or whatever, you know, it might just so happen that we have a day where only one person, one new guild member logs on for that day and they decide, you know what, this guild's not for me, no one ever logs on or something like that when I'm online. So I want to make sure that there's a couple of people on at all times of the day and that's when we would probably would stop recruiting. Um, but we just don't have the numbers to kind of, you know, because one person who can be super active you know, like Eldwin or whatever, um, or Ale, when they're online, they might not get online more than, you know, a couple hours a week or something like that. Because, you know, real life kind of thing. So, um, and since not everyone spends their life on WoW, um, to accommodate for that, um, just having more people, um, kind of have online when you chat, talk to and stuff. And I wanted to make sure that people knew that we are a casual to medium RP guild in the sense of we do not have any real requirements for activity or RPing. We have a lot of depth to our roleplay, but like I said, none of it's required. And I want to make sure that people know that we are meant to be a social RP guild. So hosting more social events as well. Um, just talking in chat. If people say that they want to join you know, because they want heirlooms, then they are welcome to stay and leave, come and go as they please. Um, I just want to make sure that everyone knows that they can kind of come and go as they please, but have more members so that people have the, people can do that and then people don't get discouraged when it happens kind of thing. Um, so... That's basically it for today's guild meeting. Um, again, <laughs> again, if you sign up for events, um, you get more Largus. And then attending those events, you also get Largus. So signing up, you know, when you feel like you maybe make it, then um, just sign up anyways and... And save me the discouragement of me being like, oh, well, no one signed up for this. It's been posted for weeks. I'm not sure if I'm really going to host it instead. Because why waste all the effort when I could be doing something else more productive with my time? Kind of thing. So, um, that is basically it. 
Any questions, comments, concerns, opinions? Um, no. Right Pretty straightforward kind of catching up on stuff. Hope you guys all had wonderful Christmas breaks and everything. I sat around for mine, so it's pretty good too. Heck yeah. Mine fell off. Yeah, I was gone for like three weeks. Was not expecting to be gone that long. Where'd you go? Um, we went down to my cousin's parents. They're basically like my parents um, as well. Because we're all the same age and stuff. But, um, so we went down there and, um, spent Christmas with them and New Year's with them. And it was nice, but I'm glad that I'm home. And I'm in school now, so, uh, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays is when I have stuff due. So those are usually the days I will be less available for events. Um, or at the very least, I will be more likely to be like, sorry, can't. Um, but, um, I will still do my best. I don't have a job at the moment, although I did apply for, uh, entry-level position for, at a library, so hopefully I'll get a call back from that. That was Tuesday. Um, and it's part-time, so I'm going to school part-time and potentially working part-time. Um, so I should still have time for WoW and everything, and, um, I was telling the officers, but I want to make more of an, a macro kind of organizer than um, mm. specifically hosting events. Obviously the guild meetings are my are something I, I should host, but um, I kind of want to be the more of the back end approach to role play um, than role playing myself a lot of the times just because I I get burned out very easily nowadays, um, especially since I write in my spare time. So, um, yeah. that's why that's I would rather point. work on, like, the, the merchant stuff and the TRP3 extended items and quests and stuff than actually engaging in direct roleplay. Um, I will still try to roleplay in character as much as possible, but, um, but yeah, that is my current state of what I'd, like, do for my stuff. Yeah, you should nice. I've been drawing a lot. Kind of just chill out on the role play. Yeah. You already used all those creative juices. And... Oh, yeah. I, I just sent a bunch of stuff. I've actually been busy trying to create a porous dagger and say TRP. Just, you know, as in the middle, middle of role playing, though I'm willing to create. Like... Is create it what? working? It, it wasn't working. Oh, she posted a. Uh... Some ideas in officer business. Um, actually, Ailey, you can post that into the merchants section. Yeah, because Geld's in that, and then those would also be something that would affect um, the gangs. I mean, it also affects me, I think. Yeah, I actually had a question with Yes, yeah, go away. And kind of just items, or combo items in general. Um, I know because I have the, the items I make for the merchant in, or the merchant items that I made uh, that you saw a while back. And they have a whole bunch of like, weapons and stuff in there that they didn't. Should there be just like an. I feel like there should be an official like blueprint for like this. Stats and stuff on the items, so that everyone's kind of like, if you want to make a green or weapon, then it's your turn every week. You know the stats that need to be made. Mm -hmm. he, took, he makes a fair point because making the dagger, I have no idea what to do with it. <laughs> I, it's not like it's supposed to be that great, but it's not supposed to be pistol. Yeah, so I've taken all, all the items in mine, I've taken all the info from your weapons, Nick, and Okay. Get them balanced their stats according to the variant. So, um, right, like the uh, essential core combat stuff is all the same, but the names and flavor tasks 
text kind of stuff be varied and figure out what the base functional stuff needs to be. Yeah, let's see. I have a document because I think you did that before. Yeah, so that was really out of date. Like that was, and that was also just kind of shooting for just basic kind of stuff. Just generalizing, yeah. So um, the items that I have in my hand, I think, are blah blah. And those are the ones that I handed out to uh, Mel and Curtis during the, the last round we did together, which was the hunt. Uh, Um, so yeah, we can work on the numbers in, uh, merchant info if you guys want to post that as well. And then, yes, that reminds me, I did want to create videos for, um, one, working with Total RP3 Extended, creating the guild items, um, and I can definitely, um, do that as a visual way of teaching. I can also post things like um, tables or whatever if need be. Um, but generally, if you guys have any questions about how to make something, um, you can either I can always you know screen share or and go through step by step visually with you, or I can create a video on it. Um, it's up to you guys, however you guys want me to explain it. Or I can try helping with um, text. So if you guys have any issues with extended, basically, just type it in merchant or, or merchant info. Um, that's basically just what the, the channel is for, for you guys. Um, Ale, yeah, Ale, Curtis, and I. Um, I don't want to say anything specific right now because we don't have anything specific, but we have a general idea. We have a concrete idea, but not a specific thing. Um, so we know what we're doing, but just not how we're doing it. So I'll post, um, or I will announce the official first event for the campaign kind of thing um, next Friday. So you guys have something to look forward to, hopefully. Um, and then maybe by then I will also get a better um, um, a better sense of 
where we are role play wise with individual members because obviously we don't want to act like everyone's been you know already met or whatever so maybe have introductory care or introductory rps um in character and stuff like that um Actually, in between them shows up though, right? Because... right yeah so if it's just you you know ale and curtis and mel then obviously we don't have to do an introductory thing yeah let's just kind of stick around and So actually, I, that reminds me, the event thing, um, I can get on the character right now and we can start setting up that uh, temporary guild so we can have a little crash for like as a cloak or whatever, and it'll look a bit more legit. Yeah, um, I can... We don't have any realms connected to Ra, do we? Connected to what? Worm rest. It's oh, just worm yeah, rest. Just like we have another character. That's the issue. Um. Well, then, if possible, I will have to make a character. Well, not have to, but I will try to make a character on a different realm that is connected to Ra, that can join a Ra guild. Why? Why, why can't you make it on the list? Because I kind of don't have enough space. What? <laughs> Do you have any that aren't in a guild? <laughs> Actually, of... like five of them are... Um, five of them are banking alts. Oh, I love it. Wait a second. Oh no, never mind. So you can just have like a guild bank on that. Yeah. Oh my. So unless you want me to, you know, use up six tabs in, in the fake guild bank, then... I mean, I don't care, but that would be a lot of time. <laughs> a lot of transferring. Wait, what about the other characters then? What do you mean? You said five of them I... were in guild. What are the rest oh. of them? In this guild? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to transfer one of them out just for a fun little immersive experience? I'd rather just create a new character, um, RP profile All right. So the one that's going to be making the, the guild is like... Bye, Felicia. It's okay. You're going to go be evil. <laughs> we have a website. Yes. What? You didn't notice? No, that's okay. Um, Rashlin, who had been in the guild for like almost a year, um, he had already been promoted as an officer and everything at that point. Um, he actually didn't know we had a website. And, oh. and but it, it it was but the thing is though is that it was something that I brought up like at every guild meeting that he attended and stuff, and he's like, you've literally never told me, and I'm like, dude, it's been in the message of the day before, it's been, you know, in the guild's description since the 
inception of the guild and everything. So I don't uh, advertise it possibly as often enough as I should, but um, yes, we have a guild website, deathbyassassination.com. Um, and uh, I update it monthly. Um, I need to update it um, as far as all of the background information. So like all of the officer stuff, I need to update. Um, Ale needs to officially host her um, no, you already hosted your event. I need to promote you. Um, and oh, then... You yeah, it was a while ago. But you, I believe you are in in the guild trailer. What did I host? I... Uh, oh. Akming. Um. Didn't you host an event forever ago? I don't really remember. All right. Well, if you want to host your your official event to become an officer, you can. Well, I figured uh, I could. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you're available, cupcake. <laughs> That's not my sis. Um, which can be one of the events that we have been talking about in officer business. Um, yeah, or you know, non RP as well. Um, other than that, I have. Nothing else to report. Uh, districts. We're not doing districts. Uh, yeah. I need to update Discord as well. So expect a lot of notifications over the last, next couple of days. And then if you guys want me to do a tutorial or anything on Extended, I can. I think I got the gist of extended down. It's kind of confusing, but I think I got it. Sweet. How is the Avora tabletop? It's what? dead. All right. Cool beans. It is almost five o'clock, my dudes. It is almost eight. It means it's more socially acceptable for me to drink. It's the best time. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to because I'm streaming. Um, if. Let's see, what do I want to work on right now? I want to make sure I tag what you guys earned for Largus. I guess I could start um, making it active for the, uh, the merchant item. Yeah. Oh, let me find that document yet. That, because I think there was something that I was working on. Um that had information about each type of weapon. You guys should see my Google Drive. I have... I don't want to... I'm so scared. I have 26 documents just in the macro tab... macro file folder. I like... maybe four times that many uh, documents for my muses alone. 
Wait, what is the group called again? Oh, he hasn't given me a name. God damn it. See, okay, so both Curtis and I submitted ideas in Officer Business. Um, and I submitted one that was very easy to name. And he submitted one that he hadn't even thought of past, like, what they did. Or, you know, what their goals were. So, we we gotta wait for Curtis to, to give us a name. Uh... I'll, I'll mention him. Yeah, because all we got is the sigil. I don't know why. That and those are red, but. There's a lot of different icons. Yeah. Something I was writing about September 18th, 2019, but I don't know what specifically it was. And I think it was with one of you guys about the quality of an item uh, versus the price of it. And then in the chart is percentages. Is that like percent that it'll break when it's used? I don't recall this, so might have been double. Yeah, so the cool thing is when you have an item, you can have it basically roll um, the regular, you know, it'll, it'll, internally, it'll roll a chance, 1 through 100, and have, say, 5% chance of breaking. So then when it quote unquote breaks, it turns into another item, and maybe that item is, you know, broken, and then the name of the item. So, like, instead of, Nicked bow, it's broken nicked bow. Um, and so then you have to, um, I don't know, maybe combine it with another bow in order to, maybe you need specific repairing items to fix it, or um, you, you, you know, you have to buy another one, or, you know, whatever. Um, However you guys feel like that would could be best handled. Is there an item durability? 
yes, but that actually... So uh, with bags, for example, let's see. Let, let's before I say anything, let's um, come up with something. So uh, blink item. So there's a damage slash repair container, and that is actually something you definitely don't want in how it's currently, um, how it currently works. Because I used to try doing a gun, and every time you used a bullet, the bullet would would use durability damage on the gun. But instead of doing it on the gun, it does it on the main container. Um, and if that breaks, then you lose all the items in the main container, not in the gun itself. It was whatever container the gun was in, not what the bullet was in. Sounds like it's, yeah, it's something that I think they have to fix. Or I just, maybe I'm not smart enough to figure out why it's not working correctly, but, um, how I've just been doing it is it has a chance to destroy the item, um, or, uh, yeah, just a chance to destroy the item, and then when that is called, and when that effect is called, then it adds the item for, as an internal item of that item, so you don't get the 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 broken thing. I have two hundred and thirty-three items. Oh, um, when you guys want to make an item uh, official, instead of posting to the uh, mission player and PC and treasure document um, that you guys all have access to, which has been um, pinned, has it been pinned? Oh, that's officer business. Um, yes. Uh, the document the is pinned in the merchant info um, at the very very top if you don't feel like typing in those sections you can also post the item as um, with all of the information in merchant info so I will essentially be uh, writing out the template for you and then you, I'll pin that real quick right now
I am already having trouble creating the guild. There is pure red color for the tabard. Ooh. Like I can't make the I or I can't make the trinket pure red. And there's not really much of a watch one, so I just kinda chose one that looks like a trinket. <laughs> Yeah, because you got to have that right one with the nuances of it. So, does weapon, tool, consumable, document, reagent, figurine, trash, or quest item sound inclusive to any kind of item that you guys would make as merchants? Say again? Um, weapons, tools, consumable, document, reagent, figurine, trash, quest item? Like if it's it's like if uh you have like guts for example. Yeah, you could you could trade it to them. They could like you could sell it to them. But yeah, yeah, that would just be trash. Would just be if it's oh. doesn't have an actual use for it. If it's purely meant to trade or sell. I don't know though because because why would a merchant want to buy that? Like it, like. It, <laughs> Some some yeah, people might. Uh -huh. It's kind of like a flavor thing. Yeah. That and just filler items. I wouldn't buy it from you. <laughs> like if you picked up some random, I don't know, uh, corpse juice, and you wanted to sell it to, you it's know not who? Juice. No, but you know, and that juice is used to create corpse oil. Then you know, you you could do that way. Or maybe just, like... You, you just get know. pure corpse oil off the corpse. <laughs> it, it's, there's no magic to get your ghost
I, I know what I mean. I can call it the wash unit, and it, it would pretty much be just like they would claim that they do work for the poor and that that they guard the poor for free, and that they're they're paid mercenaries and they're um uh, really good at their job. So then the the middle and upper class have to pay for them, but the poor can go for free, or they they'll keep the poor safe, and that's kind of like their front business. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna make sure you write it down. Unit. Um, attack, flee, or, like, drink a potion. It's one of those three. You can't, like, flee and then also, you know, be sipping down a health potion. Sure. Uh, or defend. If you want to defend someone else, that takes up your turn. However, every entity you control, so yourself or your pet, um, has one thing. So if your pet wants to flee, but you want to stay in attack, that's cool. Alright, so just posted the things that I need for all the items that you guys as merchants make. So you don't have to post them in the document that I have. Um, just post them with that template and that's it.
just have another question. Shoot. How fast do you want people to be? Like, let's say you lose gears. How fast? What's the maximum amount of turns you would want for someone to be able to kill you? Or sorry, the least amount of turns you would want. Like, if they had just high rolled every single turn, how fast would you want the that person to kill you? Probably about four or five turns. Four or five turns, okay. So, you want the maximum amount of damage. So, on average, people have, what, like, 20 health? Mm -hmm. not in the game? Yeah. So, you would want them to be doing a maximum of four or like, five damage a turn, right? Yeah. We're currently doing a lot more than that, actually, right now. Yeah, the, with the, uh... The weapons, the weapon damage that everyone has right now, um, on average, they have, like, like a rare, either an uncommon or a rare, rare weapon. Uncommons are doing one to four damage, potentially, and so if they high roll, that's four added on to what, you know, the attack up adds up to what, potentially. I think six is the highest, yeah, I think six, six well, six is the absolute highest you could roll. Um, maybe it's seven or eight. oh, let me check. For me, it's four. For me, my attack, my maximum attack up is four. Do you have a legendary weapon? I do not have a legendary weapon. I have a uh, uncommon weapon. Okay, so my my legendary weapon I have right now it is max of six. Um, so the max I could roll is eight. Okay, so... So that needs to be lower. <laughs> but that's just because it's a legendary. So anything that is not legendary would be, like, max of one to, uh, so four. What I'm going to try and do is set up a... a table. ...progression system for the, for the weapon so that once we get to the point where people are getting legendaries... In terms of not, maybe not necessarily legendary, like legendary in terms of how much damage the weapon is doing. Like you can make your own legendary, but you still have to use, um, you know, the, the issue, like the, the RP weapon that the guild is giving you. Mm -hmm. For RP combat. Or ability. So, um, I'm gonna try and make a progression for, for that. Alright. Yeah, that works. And then you can look, and then you can look if you look at it in like I think this is what I'm currently using. Oh wait, no, that doesn't. Let's see. So I just need to. I need to. I need to know how, like, the average of the maximum amount of damage someone can do with their attack. Not their weapon, weapon secret, oh. but just just the attack. Just the attack yeah, like the bonus, like the bonus oh. saver, the attack bonus. Uh, attack bonus is two so far. It's either one or two. Okay, but you can have how many? Because I have two of them. Right now it is. What? Which ones do you have? I have engineering and primary weapon. Yeah, yeah, so that would be just those two. That would be the max. So each one is two. One or two. So maximum four. Yeah. Sorry. Plus my... of your weapon damage. Yeah, so right now it's... Yes, yeah. Okay. It's been a while since I've worked with this system. I totally forgot everything. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure it out. Yeah, because what we did was we made it so that your... When you roll for attack, you roll whether or not you fail or not. So it used to be you, you could do like 12 damage to something or someone. And now the highest you could possibly roll is... Uh, yeah, between... Yeah. So how I have it currently right now is Tolk's bow is six plus yeah so the highest i could possibly roll would be 10 with my primary end yeah 
should be fine then. As long as I speak with like a woman who's fairly new. Yeah, so. it, we're working with like one or two digits, so. Um, Yeah, go for it. Now I am going to add special stats to certain weapons to keep that one. Or just kind of to add more RP. Mm -hmm. So, like for bows, um, if you have a bow, you're going to have the special stat on it will be you get plus one to your hit or fail bonus. Or, yeah, hit or miss. Like, okay. So, like, there has to be a damage that's if they're, like, balanced, if they have balanced stuff, because if you mm -hmm. buff something, that has to also have to be has to kind of... Right. Okay. That's just something that's in there. That if it turns out that that's not a good idea, it would just be, you know, a static number. That's not. I think that... The, the more, generally the more static it is, the better, just because um, it makes it easier for the DMs to track. Yeah. Especially if and you have three or four different characters fighting. But you could, they could also have that say in the weapon when you're rolling. So like this character's mm -hmm. plus one or two. So, I think that w it would be a good idea to invest in some sort of system that can have people fight basically NPCs on their own. That's what I'm working on right now, actually. Okay, awesome. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I'm realizing that, you know, it might just be easier to have it to where the character themselves, not controls, but um, they emote for the enemies or however, however we can make it easier yeah. on the DM. The only way that I'm seeing that someone would be able to fight an NPC by themselves is by Right. Right now, that's what it's looking like. I'm just going to experiment with it. I have um, some dice that are supposed to roll for NPCs. So, like, if you're fighting, quote unquote, a level one okay, boss or, some, or enemy or whatever, then it would roll. It's just the uh, emoting part that takes so long. Right, yeah. Items to By the way, uh, I don't know what to call you anymore. Nick, I posted uh, a description of the launch unit inside Guild Chat, and I posted the description of the good side, the bad side, and what they're doing to DBA. Can you get on cool. the character so then I can get started with the guild charter? Yeah. I will be back. Okay, get it. Oh, you want me to tune hop? 